Okay, this is a reading for Sagittarius and whoever needs it. Um, I'm going to pull some, well, no, these are the wrong cards. I was going to pull some What's the Tea. And I got this other one in my hand. They're, they kind of look like, <laughs> um, dang, that's hot. I was feeling my plug-in cord to my phone over here. <laughs> it's like, by these cards, I'm like, I didn't realize they got that hot, but, um, Y'all need to be careful. I just keep picking up on this. Like, I was meditating and shit before I got on here. I just pick up on this weird energy that, like, this eclipse with this Mercury retrograde and all this weird shit happening is going to bring, like, the crazy out in some of y'all's exes or people that are, like, infatuated with y'all. So just be, like, careful because I just keep getting this energy of, like, y'all being watched or y'all being, like pursued by like people you don't even want to hear from is what I was picking up on because I kept seeing like the page of swords and the seven of wands it's like you guys are wanting to block these people but like these people are finding ways around your block so be aware of that forcer forcing things on you forcing their way in Use this force to get what they want. Ooh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's somebody coming towards you who's very forceful, a very dominant energy, and that's what I picked up on. Like, there's this weird-ass energy of, like, people getting around your boundaries or trying to get around your boundaries. So, just, just be careful. Haunted memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. Oh, you may be haunted by this person. Like, whoever the hell this is. <laughs> like, you may know exactly who this is I'm talking about. Maybe you're still haunted by the memories of this person. Or, I don't know. Maybe this is an ex. Oh my god, look what just came out. Bad karma and uninterested came out together. You know, this came out in yesterday's reading. Spirit, like, was prompting me to talk about people's bad karma. I feel like some people's karma is going to be you not giving a fuck about them anymore. Like, you're uninterested. <laughs> like, you're like, I don't want to hear it. Oh, what the hell is this? Uh, giving money and then boss daddy? So some of y'all got like this boss energy coming towards you. Um, just be careful. You can be dealing with somebody even who could be trying to use money to like get you to be with them. So say if you meet somebody and they're like offering to buy you gifts and take you out and you know shit like that. I don't know but it's this weird ass. Um, you have like a boss type energy coming towards you. heard they think they're the boss <laughs> they think they're the boss yeah impersonator wants to be like you acts like you dresses like you looks like copies you see that's what I was picking up on it when it's like um somebody could be pretending to be this like boss daddy energy but they're really not we have reflecting. This is my ass before I got on here. I was like trying to pick up on these energies I was feeling. Love on the brain. Dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgic. Okay, I'm going to pull one more. Digging dirt. Looking for dirt on you. Vice versa. See... And you know what? Every time I see this card, it also it's like reminds me of like a documentary I seen of these people in Mexico. Um, I know this is really creepy, but I'm gonna tell y'all anyway. Um, there was like a documentary I watched. I can't think of the name of it, but he's like, oh, I think he's Catholic or Christian or something. But what he does is he goes and reverses spells or some shit. Like he found this huge mound of like it's it's like a freaking graveyard but it's for spell work and it was just this mound 
full of nothing but like pictures and beads and weird shit. And I guess it was like a witchcraft grave or some shit. And these witches or people doing spell work would like take people's pictures and then dig them in, like dig up the dirt and then put them in there. <laughs> so whenever I see this shit, like these two like come out together, it makes me wonder if somebody did something like spell work wise. It's really creepy. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's just... I don't know. I want to say maybe that's just my imagination, but no, fuck that. It's not. <laughs> it's like when I see, when I'm seeing things, I already know what time it is. I just, you know, somebody who has a good heart, I don't want to admit that there's people out there like this, but unfortunately there fucking is. There's a whole documentary on it. You may be able to find it if you like Google it and shit. Okay. Um, I want to pull on this shit. Spirit, what is this? Who's getting this bad karma? Who is this getting this bad karma? Mm. Oh, that is bad. That's bad. I'm hearing that there's somebody who's going to get hit so hard with karma. They're literally going to feel as if, like, God has turned his back on them that is so sad that's how this person's gonna feel nine of cups reversed pisces energy so somebody's emotions are all over the damn place they're not getting wish fulfillment knight of pentacles um it's in the reverse too. This could be somebody you had like you're on a pause with or maybe in their head they think they're on a pause with you. It could have been somebody that you distanced yourself from. Cancer energy. You could have rejected this person. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Virgo energy. This could have been somebody who even like um, slow played you. You know, they could have led you on or some shit, told you they were going to marry you, have a family or something, and then uh, it was just all, like, lies. Because it's like the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. But I also feel like this person, they're going to lose a great deal of finances. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles just came out, and it, I, like, I couldn't even shuffle. It just, like, fell over onto my hand. <laughs> so it was wanting to come out. Um, whoever this is... If they're somewhere in your life and you still have access to this person, you'll figure this out because they're about to lose a shit ton of, like, money. Like, I mean, lots of money. Um, it's kind of like the bills are going to pile up or one thing's going to hit after another. Yeah. Um, this person could be, like, waiting for you or spirits, like, showing me their future Aries energy. Yeah, whoever this is, they're very, like, jealous, and they're stalking you. There goes that page of swords I was seeing in my meditation. This, this is somebody who's, like, a very jealous individual. Um, so you'll know also kind of who they are by they're, they're a very jealous, envious individual. We have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So they're also not going to find anybody. Like, they could start searching to get in a relationship, but they're not going to find it. Like, they may think it's okay, but then it goes to shit. Um, there's also something here about, like, this person's family is going to, like, betray them. So, like, their own people are going to, like, betray them. Yeah, it's a king of wands. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the person that's going to get this um, karma. Yeah, because they lied to you. This person was gaslighting you, is what I feel like. They were telling you that they wanted a family with you, uh, marry you, all kinds of shit. But they really didn't. Um, yeah, this person broke your heart. Okay? So, it's kind of like everything they did to you is now going to become their reality. So, if this person was wishing bad on you, or if they were lying to you, or they broke your heart, now they're going to experience, like, what you went through. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is over you. So this person's going to experience really bad karma because of what they did to you, Sagittarius. Um, I also feel like this person could have been like gossiping and slandering you for like what you do for work. So if you are like a spiritual worker or um, I don't know anything you do. It was just like this person was constantly talking shit about you. Um, and I think they had others involved. You're like highly protected here too. Like you are like guarding yourself against this individual. Ooh. Yeah. This person like said some type of prayer work or something against you, Sagittarius. Like they could have prayed to God that you like lose your money. That you, um, because the magician in the reverse and the six of wands, this person and with a page of cups, they were offering up some type of prayer work that like you would fail and that you wouldn't be successful. So whatever evil things they were praying actually is going to become their reality. So if they prayed that you would lose your job or lose a relationship, whatever they said is coming back to them. Um, and whatever they prayed is not going to be successful. Uh, and the magician in the reverse, this also is somebody who is very manipulative. Like, because the magician in the upright can already be kind of like illusionist. But in the reverse, this is somebody who likes to play mind games. Uh, somebody who is a gaslighter. Yeah, they did something against um, your work. They talked bad about you. And then we have the Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. They were also, like, jealous of somebody around you. Like, uh, somebody, you know, from the past, like a sibling or a friend. Yeah, this person could be, like, depressed. Yeah, there's, like, a lot of, like, conflict going on. Ooh, this person's, like, I don't know what exactly they wished on you, but it was really bad. This person betrayed you. Like, they put others before you or something. It's like they picked somebody else's side over you instead of trying to, like, listen to what you were telling them. And so, like, now, like, God is upset at this person. They're going to feel, I'm telling you, like, I heard it. They're going to feel like God turned their back on him, on him or her, whoever this is. Yeah, this person was, like, putting you in competition. They could have put you in competition with this Queen of Swords, um, somebody from their past. They did it to try to make you jealous, Okay. Um, so like say that before you broke up with this person or something, they put somebody in front of you to try to, uh, to try to get a reaction out of you, to try to get you to like fight for them, uh, to try to, they, they were actually purposely trying to hurt you. This was intentional. This person wasn't just accidentally, oh, hurt your feelings. What I'm seeing is they went out of their way to betray you, to stab you in the back, to slander you. Um, and then not only that, it's like they were praying for your downfall. And there's a sense of like God is very upset with this individual. And is like, why would you do this to Sagittarius? Because I, I've been doing your readings for a long time. And it always shows you helping people. Like you're like these earth angels. And so this person thought that they could just do you dirty put somebody in front of you to intentionally hurt you um and then look they were looking at the grass they thought the grass was greener somewhere else and they're about to realize that all these people that they thought were better than you aren't um and that like the people that they were gossiping about you two are also going to like turn their their um back on them and then we have the empress so this unfortunately was like your divine counterpart that did this dirty shit and 
because we have the emperor and the empress so you guys could have been like married or planned on getting married or that was mentioned at one point but you're the empress okay yeah so <laughs> you've like moved on but here comes this person i feel like this is them they try to paint you as the queen of swords too somebody who's like not truthful like in the reverse so they're trying to paint you as somebody who's not truthful um somebody who was lying and that's not true This person is going to try to reach out to you like when all this shit starts hitting them because they're about to get hit really bad with karma. I'm telling you like really, really bad. Um, they're going to reach out to you and try to offer some type of like an apology here to you. Um, yeah, they're going to try to say, hey, let's heal things. Uh, I feel like they're going to try to tell you that they're sorry. But they see that you have like moved on. And that you you've healed yeah you you've made the choice to like move on because here you are you're on to a new timeline like you made the choice to completely move on from this person um, but they're still like holding on to you yeah they're burdened by the fact that you are done with them like, you completely have ruined, like, you that you know that this relationship's, like, completely over. And there's, like, this ace of swords, the um, lovers, like, you've made a choice. You're with somebody else now. You're fixing to be. Some of you guys already met your person, okay? Um, and for others of you, you're about to be in a relationship, Yeah, this person, they're about to find out. So, I don't know who they're going to hear this from, but this is another part of, like, their karma. They they can have, like, a kid or a relative or something that's on your social media or goes to, like, somewhere you go. Um, but they're about to find out the truth that you have moved on and you're already in another relationship. So, you've done found somebody else and... This is going to shock this person because they, they are going to find out you have new love. So you've already moved on. Um, you're like really not thinking about this person anymore. And you have a new lover. And this person's about to be shocked because they're about to get the truth that you've moved on. Like that's one thing about Sagittarius is, is that you guys don't let the grass. Yeah, you have good news. You've moved to calmer waters. Um you getting you know good news with your new lover you're very happy with the sun too like man <laughs> like you're really happy um i hear my dog growling i don't know why <laughs> um so anyway you've moved on but that's like one thing about sagittarius people is they don't let the grass grow under their feet like if you leave a Sagittarius, like, even for a week, maybe two weeks, you'll come back and they've already moved on to something else. They don't sit still for long. They, they're always into something. They're really childlike, okay? They're adventurous. So, if, whoever this person is, I don't know if they thought you were, like, waiting around for them, but you absolutely are not, and you've moved on. Um, and this person... Like I said, I picked up yesterday, there was there was something in the reading where you specifically said something to this person. And so when all of this starts happening, they're going to remember your words. And they're going to be like, oh man, like this is what's happening. So this person's really getting hit bad with like karma, but it's because they wished it on you. So this person didn't just do you dirty and then quietly move on into the night they did you dirty, slandered your name, lied on you from what I see, and even was doing some type of spell work or prayer work that you would have a downfall. Okay? This person was mal malicious with how they did you. And that's why God is so upset at this individual. And that's why this individual is about to really get hit. It's the King of Wands. Um... Aries Leo Sag, it's somewhere in their chart. Don't have to be their sun sign, but it is in there. Um, let's see who this um forcer is. Who is gonna try to force something 
a one to Sagittarius. Hold on, I need to. Let's see. Okay, I was checking something. Um, who is this forcer who is going to try to enforce something on to Sagittarius or whoever's watching? Who is this? Trying to get what they want, trying to force their way onto you. Well, they must not be the brightest <laughs> because uh, you try to force something on Sagittarius, or you're going to have some pushback. <laughs> Like, bitch, bye. <laughs> oh, Lord. These people are fucking crazy. I'm telling you, when I was meditating, I picked up on that. That there is some, like, really pushy people who are going to try to push your boundaries. <clears throat> and we're in a dragon month and a dragon year. So, that's a very volatile energy. So, just watch your temper. Watch your words. Don't let nobody get you out of character, but also don't let them uh, think they can play you either. So, just you have to go about it a graceful way of saying fuck you. No. <laughs> because it's coming. It ha it may not have happened for, for y'all yet, but it is, it's coming. Ooh, look at that shit. What did I say? It's coming. You got the five of wands. There's somebody that wants to smoke with you. Like, and I'm not talking about smoking bud. I'm talking about somebody wants to smoke. <laughs> like, you're about to have somebody come at you who is going to be volatile. Like, this is like a Leo type energy. This person's coming. They want, they want to fight with you. Like, it's like this person may get a kick off of that. I'm also seeing that if somebody wants you and they find out that there's competition, they're also going to try to, like, get the competition out of the way. So they may try to force other people away from you. Then we got Taurus energy here. Ooh, and Libra. So there could be somebody coming towards you here, Sagittarius, that, like, could try to, like, lock you in. Like, uh, it's like somebody's like, no, you belong to me, is what I'm getting here. This person also could try to use, like, religion to, we'll see, we'll see, let's see what else. Yeah, you know this person from the past. So you're aware of this person. We have Taurus. Oh, shit. There goes that. See, look at this shit. There goes that Seven of Wands that I was seeing with the Page of Swords when I was meditating. There is somebody you blocked from your past that is coming back and is like, you fucking belong to me. Like, this person... Normally, I'm like, okay, you block this person, but I feel like that, that this is this person, and you're the stick, and these are, like, people trying to get to you, and this person's like, no, nah, this stick belongs to me, like, Sagittarius um, belongs to me. Yeah, this person's very protective over you, so that's what this is. You're the empress, whether you're male or female, and there's somebody coming that feels like they have to protect you. Or that they, they're, they're going to push everybody out of your life. So be aware of that. When this individual comes, they're not going to like others around you. Um, they're going to be loving and charming to you, though. Okay? So they're not going to try to force nothing on you. It's going to be the people around you. Those are the ones they want gone. This is somebody from your past. This is somebody you've already dealt with, I feel like, coming back into your damn life. Yeah, and they're watching you. If they're not, yeah. Oh, good Lord. I'm telling you, it's, a, it's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody that you've known for a while. I don't feel like this is like a current ex. This is like an XXX or something. <laughs> like, this is somebody you were dealing with a while back. I picked up on this the other day. It was like a Libra energy. There's somebody coming back who wants to communicate with you that they want a commitment and they're going to say, I want you to be my wife. I want you to be my husband, whichever. And they're going to say, that's that. And all these other like lops got to go. And if you don't know what a lop is, that's lack of potential. <laughs> So they're going to be like, the lops all have to go. Yeah, and they want the Ten of Cups with you. Pisces energy. 
So this person, it, oh man, I'm telling you, it's this person who loves to hold your hand from back in the day. Who was you dating that always had to have your hand in their hand? That's this person, Sagittarius. This is somebody who don't play either, I'm getting. Like, I don't know what happened between the two of y'all, why you broke up. But this person does not play about you. They may even try to come back, like, into your life and say, let's just be friends. But their real true intentions is to marry you. Um, I don't feel like they're going to be afraid to tell you that, though. I really don't. Yeah, and they don't want you single. There's something about they can't have you out here single. They're like, no, hell no. Uh, you Like, this person's going to want to put you um, in their Facebook or Instagram or whatever the hell. You know, like, they want everybody to know. Yeah, this person's also, like, does a lot of overthinking when it comes to you. And they also, since you're like in the Empress energy, this person knows you're going to be a lot of work. So they're looking at you and they're like, man, it's going to take a lot of work for me to get Sagittarius where I need them to be. Um, but they're thinking of ways. They're thinking and thinking and thinking. I really get an air sign energy. Like this person is plotting and scheming, not in a bad way, but in a strategic way, how they can lock you in. And they know it's going to be a lot of work. Because you're the empress. They know they can't just promise you some bullshit and, and not, like, go through with it. Three of Cups. There could have been a third party in the past. Maybe that's why. Yeah, see, there was, some, there was like, a third party or something in the past. And they it could have been on their end. And they're afraid that, like, you are thinking about this. So they got to, like, make up for whatever they did to you in the past. Y'all are mirroring each other, too. So, you're being very cold to each other right now. But there's something here about somebody was looking at other options. Like, in the past. Like, something happened between you and this person. They, you know what's weird? You could have been on break from this person for, like, a year or two. But in their mind, they just thought it was a pause. Like, you could have told them fly a kite, or... I don't really even think y'all ended things on a bad note. Maybe you guys were dating and then just said, hey, let's just be friends. Because you guys both wanted to look at other options. And you guys went out and looked and then realized there ain't shit out there. So, in this person's mind, they've always had this, like, uh, fantasy of coming back and working with you. Being with you. Like, they, they never really left you. They could have they got Libra energy again. They could have been indecisive in the past. Yeah, there was. There was a third party on their end. It's this damn Queen of Pentacles. Instead of the damn Virgo. Now it's the damn Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> who is this broad? Whether male or female, who is it? Um, This person was with somebody else. And now they're coming back. Yeah. They were messaging this Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Boy, but they want their Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're they want you. The other <laughs> they want you, okay, and they are like jealous. So they could even be talking to this Queen of Pentacles right now. But they're not the one that they want. You're the one that they want. This person's very jealous and envious and stressing out at the thought of you being with somebody else. Yeah. They found out that you're talking and entertaining somebody else and that you've healed. So this is what's like pushing this person to come back to you. Like I said, they may have thought that you were just like waiting for them to come back or some weird shit like that. But then it's like they find out you're in a relationship. And this isn't the only person. There's another individual, that King of Wands, who's about to find out you're in a relationship too. This is a different person. This is a somebody from more far back. They're about to find some shit out. And they're about to make a move. It's like these people's jealousy. Yeah, they're getting... There's like gossip. Something's gossiping about you, Sagittarius. Like people are talking about you. Like, did you hear Sagittarius has a, a new man or a new woman or something like that? Yeah. And so now they want to come in and, like, surrender to you. They could have been very guarded to you, but they want to come back. 
um, yeah, they're manifesting you back. And they've been holding back, but they can't no more. Okay, so this person, Sagittarius, whoever the hell this is, they were holding back, but they can't no more. They're coming at you full force with this chariot energy and the Knight of Cups. They're going to come in and, like, love bomb you. Um, and whoever they were with in the past, they're leaving. Or whoever they're currently connecting to, they're going to leave. Yeah. And they're going to tell you that their days of being a hoe cake are over. <laughs> they're going to tell you, like, this is what they're coming to relay to you. That Sagittarius, I went out there, I searched the other grasses, whatever, <laughs> and there ain't shit out there, and whoever I'm current, this Queen of Pentacles is getting left too. Um, they're done. They're done being a hoe cake. Um, and if you have anybody else around you, this person's going to get rid of them. Yeah, they want to be the one that gets to stake claim to you. Yeah, and look, there you are. These people, I'm telling you, you have multiple people from your past are, like, hearing that you um, are with somebody new. Like, your emperor is here. If you're a female, your emperor is here, vice versa. If you're a male, your empress is here. Or if you like the same, same, whatever. Get what I'm saying. <laughs> you, whoever you're attracted to is here. Like, this is it. You, Your new love has arrived. And it's, like, going to cause so much freaking, like, um, chaos and drama and shit like that. And everybody's going to be coming back, like, trying, like, no, wait a minute. Like, I thought she was waiting for me. And then the other one's going to be like, no, I thought she was waiting for me or he was waiting for me. <laughs> and you're just over here like, who the fuck are you? Like, I don't, I'm not even thinking of you. Like, look. You know, you were dead to me weeks ago or months or years ago, whatever, however long it's been with these people. And you're just over here like, no, I'm with my new love now. And you're going to be like seen. Whoever this emperor is, um, they want everybody to know. They're going to like put this shit on blast. So if you're like a private person, you're not going to like it. But I'm telling you, whoever this enforcer is, this is also their energy. They're taking, they want to take control over you. Like, they want to come in and, like, take control and charge over you because they feel like you've gotten away. So, if it's, like, a past person, they want to come back and be this emperor. This is a hot mess if I've ever seen it. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? Mm, let's see who this is. Who is this boss daddy? Who is this boss daddy for Sagittarius? Some of y'all I'm hearing are connecting with an Aries specifically. And this is like a very dominant, dominant energy. Like, this is a type of person when they walk in a room, everybody sees them. It's just like they, they, and they don't even have to be like big or tall or nothing. It's just like they know like when they look at that person like they're like dominant like that's what i've been picking up on also hearing that you are like hooking up with somebody and y'all are gonna be like a power couple like people are gonna know what time it is when they see y'all out Yeah, you're off to the races here. <laughs> you're on a new timeline. I'm also hearing that this, if you're a female and you're dealing with this new individual, there's somebody who wants to, is going to pay to like get your nails done. Yeah, like look, you're leaving heartbreak behind. Oh, good lord. This is your ex. This is that person that thinks they're boss daddy. I guess they're not. That's why that impersonator came out. This person's, like, jealous that you've moved on. Yeah, and they feel betrayed by you. So, whoever this boss daddy is, like, they could even call themselves a boss. Um, they're pissed off at you. You could have ghosted them. They want to, they want to smoke. I'm telling you, this person wants to come in and start shit with you. Yeah, they're pissed because you walked away from them. Yeah, because guess what? You got new love. I feel
feel like this person who, who, I just keep getting the same fucking energy. Somebody is about to find out that you have a new lover. And this is going to piss this person off. Yeah, they're about to find out that you have found somebody. I'm also hearing this person you found is like, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> before I, before the card even came out. Oh my God. I heard one of y'all's guides is really cracking up over here. It's a female. It's an older female. And she, she Lord, <laughs> this lady is cackling and laughing, okay? Because she said he's a fine motherfucker. So it's whether it's a male or female for y'all, this person is like really good looking. So not only did you find new love, you found like a fine person. Like this person is fine and they're very attractive. Like, very, <laughs> there they are, ta-da, how you like me now. <laughs> so, you are, you're, get, you've left somebody, Sagittarius, you know what? You left an imposter, somebody who claimed they were a boss, and actually have found a fucking boss. This boss daddy, big dick energy, has arrived. <laughs> like, and if you're a guy, it's still, she's going to be like a boss, like, she's going to, be very dominant, and she ain't going to be about no games. But for those of you who like guys, this is like that boss daddy. Like, this motherfucker ain't going to play no games. And I'm hearing that this person has money. They want to, like, spoil you, spend money on you. Um, it's like you've met your perfect match. And when your exes find out about this, oh, man. Yeah, look at this. You could have even known this person for a while. magician you manifested this person didn't you you did some type of like prayer work where you dreamed about this person or like you could have even thought this person into reality because it's like it's a past life soulmate and then look this is that grandma that's that damn grandma that's cackling in the back she knew that you would love this person she's like oh this is the perfect person for Sagittarius and then they manifested this person into your life. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> and you know what? That person who, who left you or whatever, whoever's off with this Queen of Pentacles, they're going to realize that you're over here with the boss daddy. And they're over here with, like, the devil. Like, literally, the person they thought was good for them or that they left, you know, something. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, um, she's actually the devil. He or she is actually the devil. And this person's going to realize that. And you're over here. You ended things with these people. Because it's like this Queen of Pentacles was tied to somebody. And you ended it. And you're like, bye. And you're over here off to success with your new person. Um, I'm also seeing that like, yeah, who, there's somebody who has you like in this third party. Um, they're also about to get cheated on by that person. And you're going to see this. Like you're going to see all of this in action. This is that person's future. Like they keep showing me this past person's future. And then there you are. You're like celebrating um, yeah, the jealousy is going to be so thick. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, when people from your past find out that you're like going to be getting married or engaged and that you've found the one, the gossip and the rumors are going to fly. They're going to be like, did you hear that Sagittarius is in a commitment? Did you hear this? Did you hear that? And the jealousy is just going to be so thick. Everybody's going to be talking about this. Yeah, like everybody. Yeah, because you go from the... <laughs> yeah, you go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. You go from being single to in a relationship. And this is your divine counterpart. And people that are, don't like you or pissed, they're going to have stress and anxiety. Because the Empress has found their match. So your match is here. Finally. 
Thank you, Lord. That way we can move on to other stories about the new love. <laughs> You're going to end up um, married to this new person. Yeah, this is your destiny. This was guided like to you by the divine. This new person's not going to like have to sit around and wonder like, is this the person? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, look, they're not going to sit around and wonder. This new person knows what time it is. Like, as soon as they lay eyes on you, they're like, that's the one. <laughs> like, they just know. They don't have to make a choice. They don't have to sit around and think about it. They just know. Like, they know that you were the one that, like, God guided them to. Like, you're their star. So, this is actually a good reading. But you do have a lot of haters and gossipers around you. And you do have people who are going to try to come back and force their way back in. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I just, I don't think you're about it. I really don't. Let's see who this impersonator is. Who's impersonating Sagittarius? Who is impersonating Sagittarius? Who is this impersonating Sagittarius? The four wands and the page of swords. Another fire sign. There's like a fire sign, okay, because we have like Aries. We have the Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, and then this Leo energy. So a lot of fire energy. It's like jealous, okay, because here you are. You're building a foundation. You're celebrating. And there's somebody who's jealous of you. But they're holding this back. So be aware that you got somebody who's jealous of you. And I feel like you ended things with this person or you're going to. I feel like you already did probably. King of Cups. Hmm. Libra energy. Yeah. Page of Wands. This could be somebody around your work, too. So there could be somebody around your work. So keep your, like, work personal. Like, if you, you know, make sure your laptop's closed, shit like that. Yeah. Because there's somebody who's trying to steal your ideas, Sagittarius. Like, they want to copy your work. Um, This could even be people who are, like, are at work or in your family. Yeah. It's like they want to steal your destiny. <laughs> but they're showing me this person's future. So, like, if somebody is trying to steal your ideas and copy you or steal your work or whatever, they're going to get their ass handed to them. Like, it'll end up ending. Yeah. This person might even try to betray you in the future, so be careful. Yeah, there's something here about, like, you getting new love and going to a new timeline is going to trigger people. Not just your exes, but it could be family, co-workers, friends. So be careful, like, what the hell you tell people. Yeah, there's something here about love. Like, there could be somebody who is in love with you that's at work, and they're jealous because you have a new love, and they feel like they're not getting attention. So be aware of that. You, you got a lot. I was picking up on a lot of jealous, jealous jealous, envious energy before I got on here. Um, and some of these people are going to flip their shit when they see you doing the most. <laughs> I don't even feel like you're really doing the most. I think you're just fucking living life. And for some reason, you breathing and living life pisses these people off, Sagittarius. Good Lord. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a little what's coming towards you. Um, for the next seven days. So, who is coming towards Sagittarius for the next seven days? I keep hearing somebody stalking your fucking house. I, I keep hearing that. So, make sure you got your cameras on. I don't want to freak anybody out, but I keep hearing it. Okay, 
yeah, Aquarius. Cancer. Somebody feels you pulling back your energy from them. There you are. Yeah, you're in this healing energy. And you're in this, like, rejection energy of, like, leave me the fuck alone, please. Good day, goodbye. Like, you're pulling back your energy from people. Because you've moved to a new timeline. These people can't go where you're going. But there's other people who are burdened because you are rejecting them at a high speed right here. <laughs> and you're moving on. Oh, yeah. And they're like, here they are, going to try to chase you, this Knight of Wands. I just feel like you're really free. You're like, Yeah, look at this. You got the, you're over here doing alchemy. You're not thinking about these people. And there's people from the past. These are people who are going to come out of the freaking woodwork to chase you. It's like they feel that you've left, okay? Sagittarius has left the fucking building. And everyone's like, where did she go? Or where did he go? We've got to go fucking find him. And so it's like you're hiding from these people. Unfortunately, they know where you live. <laughs> it's, like, it's so sad, isn't it? But if you don't let them in, oh. Um, but it's like you got more than one person. It's like a, a entourage of these people. Oh, Lord. You got somebody coming back here from the past. Could be an earth sign. And then we have a fire sign. Man, I really feel like y'all are over here with this new love. Just enjoying life. Like, some of y'all don't even have new love yet. But you've done, you know, seen it in a vision. Done dreamed about it. Yeah, I'm telling you. You've, you've done found new love. At last. My love has come along. <laughs> My lonely days are over. <laughs> it's like, you look at this shit. <laughs> this is what's at the bottom. I can't help but laugh. There is somebody watching you, Sagittarius, that is so fucking pissed and jealous at you. Like, this is a very jealous, pissed off individual. And <clears throat> they're like, people are mad at you. Like, you're over here getting new love, getting a commitment. I think your finances are going to be doing great, too. And then we have the King of Swords. This, I feel like this could be your new love. Like, your new love keeps popping up as air energy here lately. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, and look, you're getting wish fulfillment. So you're getting wish fulfillment. Oh, man. I'm telling you, somebody wants to marry you. Somebody is like, you're it, you're mine, let's do it. Like, you're going to be getting married. <clears throat> Somebody's going to be offering you, like, their hand in marriage, and you're going to be like, okay. Man, you got a lot of different energies coming towards you the next seven days. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Okay, so check it out. There is somebody, this king of swords, whoever they are, they could be from your past. I don't know. Some of y'all may want to hear this and others are like, fuck that. But there's a king of swords that has come to an epiphany that you're the one. I feel like this could be your past person. Some of y'all, it's going to be new person. But some of y'all, this is a past person. Um, but they're coming back brand new, like wrapped in plastic. It's funny. My cat's over here chewing on plastic in the background. So if you hear that, that's her. <laughs> Ain't it? Kitty, kitty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so there's somebody choosing you. They were dealing with the queen of pentacles, but they've realized that the queen of pentacles ain't shit. Ain't never going to be shit. And that you're the empress. And so they're choosing you. You are the one they want. So, even if this is a new person, I don't know. They could be dealing with somebody else, but they see you and they're like, fuck that. That's the one I want. And so, this person's not just going to be bullshitting you. They're going to offer you marriage. Like, they actually want to marry you. And they're getting rid of this Queen of Pentacles. It's a heavy Libra energy. This person really is all up in your energy lately. Who do you know that has um, a lot of air in her chart? This person has been, like, 
in the past holding back from you. They could, their air sign could be their rising sign. It may not be a sun sign is what I'm hearing. Um, man, this person really wants to come in and like fix things with you. Like they feel like you're a very healing energy. I'm hearing that whoever this is, they like your positivity. Like they're used to dealing with people who just are very negative and they like that you're always like happy. But man, this person's going through some type of heartbreak right now and they are healing. But maybe, I don't know. I kind of feel like that the Queen of Pentacles is going to be the person crying and shit. Not you or not them. Yeah, we got a Virgo energy. Man, you guys, I'm telling you, this next seven days right after this eclipse energy, you're going to have several exes coming back. New, holy shit, that car went flying. What the hell was it? Oh my God, it's the Page of Swords. <laughs> I'd have to pause it to get it, but trust me, that's the Page of fucking Swords down there. Somebody is stalking y'all. There's a Virgo stalking you specifically. So be careful about that. But there's like these people coming towards you. They're breaking up with other people. Now they want you. Um, yeah, they're, they're leaving somebody behind. And somebody wants you. Like they want to come offer you this romance. You this love. <clears throat> they want to move away from their past. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's like people that are like wanting to, they could be with their girlfriend or boyfriend today and then they see you and they're like, oh, that shit's got to go. Like there's something here about people are ending things. Like there's a lot of ending energy and they want to come to you. Like somebody is realizing Sagittarius, whoever this King of Swords is, they're realizing you're their soulmate. Like this person it's, I want you to think about who the hell do you know that always wanted to hold your hands? And it was like a year or two ago. I think 2022. This is the person who keeps popping up in your energy. Yeah. Look at all this page energy. <laughs> like, this person's like stuck on you, but there's multiple there's multiple people messaging you that are stuck on you that can't get over you. And a lot of these people are having like fear that you are moving on to bigger and better things and that you're giving to others. Because all these cards just came out together. The Six of Swords, the Moon, the Devil, Six of Pentacles, and the World. So you are literally like leaving people. And these, some of these people are becoming fearful because they're used to you, like, giving to them. And you're like, no, I'm done. I'm moving on to calmer, better waters and shit. And you're closing out this cycle with these people. And so they have fear. And they, they ha they're going to try to find a way to stay attached to you. Yeah. They, it's, these people, I don't feel like this is the King of Swords. I feel like this is another energy. Yeah, I fucking knew it. It's this fucking King of Wands, Leo energy. Whoever this person is, they have a fear that you are leaving them. And they would be correct. It's like, with this page energy back here, you see how there's two pages that just popped up? Whoever this King of Wands is that's still stuck on you, they're about to get told by either their kids or family members or whoever's still, like, on your social media. I don't fucking know. There, but there's, there's, like, conversations about you going on here. Okay, that are, these people are stuck on you. They're about to find out that you've moved on. This King of Wands, who was looking at other options, thinking they could find better than you. They're about to get word that you've moved on. And they're like, wait a minute. I thought Sagittarius was just over at the house chilling, working, or, you know, going to their job and back to the crib. Like, this person didn't have any idea that you were already in a relationship. So this person's fear has now become the reality. And so here they come. <laughs> so you got a king of swords who wants to offer you marriage. That's choosing you over somebody. And then you got this king of wands who has found out that you're in a relationship. They're going to try to come back and use passion to get you. Yeah. And they're, they're thinking that they're going to do all this in divine timing. Yeah. They're... <laughs> 
This is the person who told you that they were going to want to build a life with you and marry you and never did. And now they're jealous. This person is realizing they thought, okay, this person, whoever the fuck this King of Wands is, y'all been dealing with, this person thinks that they could just go out and do whatever they want with whoever and that they could come back and easily get you with like passion and they were going to take their sweet ass time with that will of fortune they thought they could do this in divine timing oh Sagittarius will be there or whoever you are watching and they are getting some type of gossip about you that you're already in another relationship so here they come they realized oh shit I don't have time I don't have time yeah and they're over there mind fucked realizing they ran out of time realizing they actually have been left out in the cold that you're not coming back um and that while they were ghosting you or being quiet to you and purposely hurting you and leaving you out in the cold you done went off and got another relationship yeah and that you've completely moved on from this person <laughs> yeah you have done manifested your ass out the door you're completely gone you left you have left and now they're in regret and in despair because they know that they'll never have the Ten of Pentacles in life. That, that Their Ten of Pentacles lied with you. But they thought that they could just go out and be this free page of wands here and do whatever. But as soon as they get this message, there's somebody who's going to relay something to this person. They're going to be shocked because they found out that you're in a completely other relationship and here they are. They're going to want to fight over this. This person is going to be so jealous and pissed off that you have found new love. So, yeah. And you, I feel like you have this person blocked already. So they can't see what's on your social media. Um, but there's people who are on your social media they know is what I'm picking up on. And they're going to think in their mind that you're juggling them. But you're not. Like, how can you juggle if you're not even with them? It's because this person was so egotistical that they thought they could just come back and get you anytime that they wanted. And you're moving on. You found somebody who will commit to you with that King of Pentacles energy. So, you got a lot going on here the next seven days. So, comment and let me know who y'all are dealing with. <clears throat> Comment and let me know who's the air sign that y'all was with a year or two ago that always wanted to hold your hands. Because that person's really back off in your readings. We got four, four, five. Look at that. One, one, one. If you've been seeing one, 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 this is definitely for you. We actually have three fives too. So a lot of change. Because four plus one right here, that's five, five, five. <laughs> So we have five 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 one one one, okay. We also have four 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 because look, there's a four over here. So four 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 one 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 five five five. Those are your signs. Um, also, I was gonna tell y'all if you, when you guys purchase the, there's no extended for this one, but when you do purchase the extended, some of you who are new, after you pay, make sure you email me. A screenshot of the payment because if not I don't know who to send the the link to the extended to like if I don't have your email address I don't know who to send it to okay so that's just a side note there's only usually like one or two of you who kind of get confused that are new that don't know you have to email me after you pay so just it's always under the description of the videos if there's like an extended and how you get the extended but there's not one for this video Okay, we have Cancer, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, Libra, Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Sag, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so have a good one and love you guys.